there is a slow uptake, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate because our season here in Newfoundland, like we, we got a couple of months to make it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that that's the way it's going to be this year. It's uh, going to be slow and hopefully uh, everybody will ride this wave out. COVID-19 threw many businesses a curveball, especially in the hospitality sector. But Ocean Quest Adventures in Petty Harbor has managed to stay afloat. If you get, um, you know, three or four months in the tourism season for a tourism operator, you're lucky. We're probably a little bit longer than that because we offer diving, uh, training and so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it is a short season and we have to maximize that revenue in that short season. And when you don't have the people coming, it's very difficult to make the buck that you need to carry you through the winter. Some have been critical of the messaging and timing of open borders. Stanley echoes this. I think we're, we're, they were so late uh, coming out and uh, announcing that, that you know people need time to plan travel. Tourists do. What we're getting, what we're seeing here is families. Families that have a relation uh, you know, in, in our province. The message is getting out there now, you know, but it's a bit late for this year. So, you know, we're at, we are going to get fewer people, the gates are open kind of thing, but they got that message out a little later than they should have gotten it out. Of. Whether the province will see many visitors before the end of the season remains to be seen, but Rick Stanley is hopeful that coming seasons will make up for the pandemic. It is going to take a couple of years to get everybody back on their feet again, for sure. They just got to hang in there. And like I said, with the, uh, with the support that's being out there, I think, uh, you know, they're, they're embracing the tourism operators and people are going to do okay if they just hang in there. Newfoundland and Labrador are doing a great job and I think the world is noticing and I think we are going to be that safe haven for travel in the very near future and hopefully that very near future is next year. The key to weathering the pandemic and future rough seasons, Stanley believes, is offering a broad spectrum of activities, which is why he's branched out beyond whale tours into diving, sea kayaking, bicycling, to appeal to many different demographics. Henrike Wilhelm, CBC News, Petty Harbor, Maddox Cove.